This is a technology preview of a proof of concept developed by the EMC CTO office and the VMware vSphere VM kernel. It was developed for a customer who was running HPC workloads. They're running these HPC workloads in VMs running on a vBlock. Their particular challenge was that jobs sometimes took many days, and a job that might take 10 days to run might be interrupted on the ninth day because a new higher priority job would come in. Normally, this would require destroying or discarding all the previous work. What they wanted to be able to do was capture the entire complex system state, memory, CPU, I.O., data set, all at the same time. So what has been developed in this prototype is that exact capability to capture the entire system state, which you can see that we've done initially here just for the VMs. This captures them all at the exact same moment, like a storage consistency group, capturing every single transaction, the entire memory state of all of those virtual machines, all exactly at the same time. In this customized VM kernel, this can be exposed via APIs for complex coordinated jobs. So what we've done here is we've created a replica of all of these base templates. You can see that we've created the first workload here, which is already up and running. And now we've got parallelized compute and head workloads, uh, which are all fired up. Now all of these have been created with the exact system state of those virtual machines. Again, CPU, memory, I.O., all at the exact same instant via, in essence, a consistency group of a VM level snapshot. You can see here that those VMs are already up and running and doing the distributed workload they started on. One thing that's also interesting about this customized vSphere VM kernel that was developed by the EMC CTO office and the VMware team is the fact that it is able to uh, accelerate this distributed snapshot across a large number of VMs while continuing to process the workload. There's roughly a 10x performance improvement. You can see here that we're creating an exact state image of all of these machines while they're computing while they continue to process their workload. It is worth reiterating that at this point, this customized VM kernel is not available in the general market. This is a preview of technology that could be developed in the future. Now, one thing that's interesting is that this uh, particular customer uh, that was using vBlock for HPC workloads was very interested in this capability, but also wanted to be able to uh, not only capture system state, but also the entire data state of both the NFS data stores they were computing against, as well as the transactional databases that these uh, uh, distributed compute workloads were uh, analyzing again. Furthermore, they were very, very interested in being able to leverage external public compute resources from vCloud compatible service providers, such as CSC or Verizon or AT&T or Singtel or others. So one thing that we're going to demonstrate here is a very, very interesting idea, which is that this uh, uh, ability to create complex jobs where we capture not only VM state, but also storage state at the same time, can be done in a coordinated fashion between both VMware and underlying storage, and also be able to push those workloads to the cloud. So here, let's extend this job by adding another job to this uh, uh, workload that captures an NFS-based snapshot of uh, the, the I.O. ring that's being used for all of these uh, VMs while they work on their computer. Now again, this being a technology preview developed by our CTO office, editing XML files seems perfectly normal. Uh, this could obviously be uh, wrapped with a much nicer uh, UI, but uh, again, there's a proof of capability. So you can see here that it's queuing that uh, particular job, and now let's add another one. This one is very interesting. Let's create a virtualized vplex instance. And this virtualized vplex instance, we'll call it vvplex, will push out to the cloud provider, which means that the cloud provider will be able to access the storage and present it to all of these virtual machines that are running in its cloud without the data actually being present using vplex's distributed, active, active, uh, um, uh, coherent cache methodology. So here you can see that some additional workloads have been fired off, and we've created a virtualized vplex director, which is going to present the storage back to that cluster, and so that they can actually compute against the workload without the data being. This is particularly interesting for this particular customer because they were very concerned about the service provider having access to the actual underlying storage that was going to be computed against because this is something that was of great value to the customer. In this case, they can actually use the compute resource of the service provider while the data actually never truly existing on the service provider's premise. The virtual vplex instance was using EMC's Access Anywhere approach 
to be able to present and uh, have the storage appear as if it was local, even though the data actually never existed at the service provider. Thanks very much, and this is an interesting preview of technology to come from EMC and VMware.